the topic in the ctfs is relation between complex fourier series and real fourier series a real fourier series we have derived already is x of t a naught sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega n naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n omega naught we'll write this as a n n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught plus b n sin n omega naught a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n i will write this cos n omega naught by e power j n omega naught plus e power minus j n omega naught by 2 i will write this as e power j n e power j n omega naught minus e power minus j n omega naught that is sigma a naught sigma n equal to 1 to infinity i will take e power j n omega naught as common e power plus j n omega naught take this as common then a n by 2 plus b n by 2 j next i will take e power minus j n omega naught common a n by 2 minus b n by 2 j now i will replace 1 by j with minus j this 1 by j with minus j this 1 by j with, with minus j minus of minus plus j x of t a naught sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n minus j b n by 2 e power j n omega naught t plus a n plus j b n by 2 e power minus j n omega naught that is a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n minus j b n by 2 e power j n omega naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n plus j b n by 2 e power minus j n omega naught here i will take n equal to minus m i'm just taking n equal to minus m that implies m equal to minus m this part i'll keep aside and i will do operations on a second term this term okay now m equal to minus m so the lower limit n equal to 1 then what happens to m n equal to infinity then m equal to minus infinity substitute all this this term will come here and i am not going to write again plus this term sigma m equal to minus 1 to m equal to minus infinity a in place of n we have to put minus m plus j minus m by 2 e power in place of minus n put m plus j m omega naught this term as it is it will come to here we know that we already derived a minus n equal to a n this is even we already derived in the previous lecture b minus n equal to minus b n a n is even b n is odd right these things we have already derived in the previous lecture in place of n the here m is there that's it what happens if m is there just replace m by here a minus m equal to a m and b minus m equal to minus b m. that's it here m is a dummy variable right now replace all these things in the tick in this equation x of t a naught plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n minus j b n by 2 i will write this sigma m equal to minus infinity to minus 1 to minus infinity a minus m is a m b minus m is minus j 
b by 2 e power j m omega naught because this is a summation it is not integration summation so the these limits you can change them this lower limit becomes upper limit upper limit becomes lower limit even though you change the limits the result will not be changed because this is a summation right suppose initial value is 1 next 2 next 3 next 4 next 5 and so on you can sum this up to infinity or you can sum from infinity and so on 5 4 3 2 1 okay in these two cases you will get the summation is same the limits is not going to affect the order of limits will not going to affect the result now this term sigma m equal to minus infinity to minus 1 a m minus j b m by 2 e power j m omega naught right and here the m is a dummy variable right at last you have to replace this m with this minus infinity to minus 1 right that's it so this m is a dummy variable just replace m by n that's it the result will not going to change it just m is a dummy variable so n equal to minus infinity to plus in sorry minus infinity to minus 1 a n minus j b n by 2 p e power plus j n omega naught and this first term as it is it will come to here this is the first term it's come to here here e power j n omega naught term is there these things so this term is same a n minus j b n by 2 e power j n omega naught this term also same but the limits are different n equal to minus infinity to minus 1 here n equal to 1 to infinity what i do a naught plus sigma we will take n equal to here minus infinity to minus 1 and here 1 to infinity so we will take minus infinity to plus infinity but n not equal to 0 okay in these two cases this case and in this case we don't have n equal to 0 limit so n not equal to 0 a n minus j b n by 2 e power j n omega naught this is x of t right x of t a naught sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity and n not equal to 0 a n minus j p n by 2 e power j n omega naught now i will replace replace this term by some c n this is a complex number c n x of t equal to a naught plus sigma n equal to minus infinity plus infinity n not equal to 0 cn e power j n omega naught so i want to include this n equal to 0 also into the summation we will take c0 equal to a0 the c naught equal to a naught then i will include this a naught uh, in in the summation sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity here here n equal to 0 also included then cn e power j n omega naught right that's it this is an exponential 4 8 series where cn is a n minus j b n by 2 and omega naught is the fundamental frequency of the signal x of t this which is 2 pi by the period of the signal capital t right that's it we got cn equal to a n minus j b n by 2 what is its magnitude a n square plus b n square square root by 2 right this can be written as r n by 2 in polar form we have x of t equal to in polar form x of t equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity r n cos n omega naught t minus pi where r n is square root 
a n square b n square r not equal to a not and this pi is tan inverse b n by a n this is polar form representation of continuous term for air series now c n is square root a n square plus b n square by 2 so this is r n by 2 and what is the angle of c n this angle is tan inverse imaginary part is minus b n the real part a n imaginary part is negative and real part is positive it is a fourth quadrant so in the fourth quadrant you have minus theta that is that is you can write it as minus an inverse b n by a n this is same as this is pi an inverse b n by a n and we here we have minus pi right here minus pi here this minus pi equal to minus tan inverse b n by a n right let us say minus pi equal to theta this i should have already told you let us say this minus pi equal to theta then i can write this as sigma n equal to 0 to infinity r n cos n omega naught t plus theta right the theta equal to minus pi then the theta can be written as from this theta equal to minus pi that is minus tan inverse b n by a this is theta so c n equal to angle angle of c n equal to theta or that equal to minus pi both are same and the one more question is why this why this all this complex four series okay that i will explain in the next video